Doing a quick and dirty shoot, um, showing the backyard area. This used to be a chicken coop, an animal pen, as you can see. They've splatted colour up the wall, but uh, all of this, this isn't sort of paving, it looks like it, but it isn't. It's um, concrete that is formed into to looking like a path. The only thing we retained was the Nisbro tree which uh, pretty darn huge, casts great shadow. Um, we planted, we, we, we made some holes and planted the um, plum, mandarin and lemon tree. Uh, hey, we actually have some lemons. You look closely, <laughs> you can see the old lemon. And at the back here, We've created this sort of planter area that goes all along the back wall. And we're going to feed that water wise from the aircon unit out of my office. I'm going to divert that pipe over into, into that area there. Just swinging around um, the old table and chairs for, for dining out. And then the new furniture here. So this was assembled in a couple of hours. It came from Carrefour, a uh, French uh, hypermarket chain that uh, has come into Spain. They certainly put IKEA to shame, I can tell you that, because this lot went together in like a couple of hours. And you can see it's pretty good quality, um, yet it was pretty darn cheap. So, so you, you know, you've got somewhere to put your drinks or what have you somewhere where maybe you could put food or books or whatever a um, little footstool to go with that chair nice little two person sofa they're really very comfortable these I'm amazed at just how great quality they are so just moving up the yard here it's all quite dark you can see the the way we've carried the um, this uh, kind of paving effect through all of this down here is crap um, we yanked tiles off the walls that are going to have to be replaced. We had to plug up some holes there were letting water through. We didn't even know it. Then we've got external water pipes. <laughs> Spanish. The way Spanish do things is sometimes quite extraordinary. Going all the way down to the outside wall for the garage. So, okay, swinging back round. We decided to leave this alone for the time being. At some point we may retile it. I don't know. But uh, anyway, we'll see. And um, you know we may we may move a couple of these plants, for example, into the uh, into that area I was talking about. Oh yeah, sure. Maybe you haven't seen this before. My little deluxe outside shower works off the cold water feed, and um, absolutely fantastic in the sun. This work is still to be done. You can see this is crappy staircase, really crappy banister. That's all coming off and um, being replaced I'm going up the stairs now okay so here's the top terrace this was leaking and that was because there was no proper uh, waterproofing to it so they've got this laid down it still needs to be grouted you can see it's a fair, a fair good size going down to the back of the house there and um, <coughs> At some point we plan to uh, put a hole here and put a door in there, leave that aircon unit for what is a bedroom behind there at the moment. Um, so we also got them to raise the, um, the walls a little bit, uh, the retaining walls there, cap them off, make them look a little bit pleasant. But of course that's completely unfinished and what there will be there are are some decorative railings that match uh, what we're going to do on the staircase. Oh yeah, fine. So, uh, what else do we have done? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. This this used to be a tin roof, and um, as you can see, we've had all that replaced. Looks a lot, lot better. Needs a bit of a clean off. That's the roof to my office just around the corner. We had that done a couple of years ago, but you get the idea. Anyway. Just to see why we're having this done and why we'll have the the um, uh, a door put into the bedroom. If you have a look out here, 
this is our view up to the castle at the top of town pretty darn beautiful isn't it so there you go that's the work that's been going on so far there's still quite a lot of work to do um, particularly internal to the house uh, see you next time